I carve a swan. Then my mom was so happy at that time. So when I was a uh, high school, I always uh, won in some competition, fruit carving, vegetable carving, ice carving. Hi, my name is Alonso. My position is an ice carver here in Costa. So I start now to make a base for the, my sculpture. I use pineapple. Now I'm gonna use skewer for picks. Now finish the base. Now I'm gonna start to make a uh, swan. You know guys, uh, I start to carve the fruits when I was uh, seven years old. My family business is uh, to make a uh, wood sculpture, but we apply to the ice and uh, fruits and vegetable. Now I'm gonna make the ice, simple ice, using eggplant. This one, this one I learned in uh, in my first contract. We need to fix in the body. Now it's uh, finished, the body and the head. Now we're gonna make the feather and tail. So I use watermelon. I use the skin of watermelon. We make feather. We make, we make uh, wings. I start to carve the vegetable when I was seven years old. I start in a mango. I carve a swan. Then my mom was so happy at that time. So when I was a uh, high school, I always uh, won in some competition, fruit carving, vegetable carving, ice carving. I'm from uh, Paete, Laguna. It's a small town in the Philippines. They called Paete. Paet is a uh, carving tools. That's the carving capital of my country. Now we're gonna assemble, fix the wings using a skewer. Now the tail. Now we finish the swan. We're gonna put on top. Now we're gonna start to make some fish we're gonna add from here. So I use melon, cantaloupe. So now we're gonna make fish. It's an angel fish. Now I make some flour to add using the skin from melon. And now it's finished. It's one with two fish. This I always uh, saw in my hometown, in my backyard also, when I take some coffee. I remember my home when every time I carved this sculpture. 